getting coffee on the quayside. Philip Aldi in the background. Morning, Miss Jones. I'm Nicole. And I'm Paul. And with our motley crew of numerous children from our blended family, we sail around the Mediterranean on Savvy of London, our XP55 sailing yacht. On this channel, we take you with us on our adventures at sea and on land. Please tick that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and thank you for joining us on this journey. We've got a car. We're going to go and visit the island. Uh, Nicole's got lots on today, so That's you've got me recording. And uh, we've missed some of the stuff, so sorry about that. But basically, a private car is over there. We're going to see it in a moment. And I assumed incorrectly that we could stay on the berth till quite late because yesterday it didn't seem to be a big issue, a big issue but today it is because they're full tonight. So we're now we're going to move the boat to the end of the quay over here somewhere, right the way to the end, so that we can go out in the car and not have to be back and leave by 2:30 for which they're going to charge us half a day, which is not unreasonable. Uh, so we're going to do that and then get in the car and go for a drive. He's, uh, yeah, fixing the boat too. We've just had to move it and they've put us right here on the end of the dock, which isn't great, but they did give us two bow lines only after we absolutely insisted. So we're, st we're strapped on here, really exposed and just for half a day because we wanted to go exploring and we thought that we could stay until the afternoon normally they've asked us to leave so yeah anyway the sweat is real the sweat oh. is very real <laughs> what do you think of paul's new shorts they certainly beat the wang jiangs don't they show us the little built-in fake waistband oh yeah <laughs> Looking good, Mr. Lewetchford. Not bad for a granddad. <laughs> Otto. Otto? Otto Fili. What's Otto Fili? Sette nipoti. Eight children, seven grandchildren. Oh yes, that's it. Having seen some of uh, the comings and goings, we've decided to put huge fenders all up our starboard side. And this is our insurance policy against that quayside that does not look very friendly. Off we go. Ready to go in our chariot. Uh, some running repairs first. It's a um, classy vehicle, this one. It's a cabriolet. I'm not sure it actually has a roof, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's an adventure. This here's a map of the whole island, and we're in Santa Marina. So, as you can see, we've got to head down, or we're heading down south to Lingua. And then we're going to backpedal on ourselves and come back up and then just yeah, explore all the various towns here. It's very pretty up here in the mountains. Quando o sol se pôs, pensei em nós dois. That's um, Pan. Uh, the Pari. The Pari over there. What are all these noises? Ah, uh, it's don't worry. No problem. No problem. That is burning and cutting into me. And it's making no difference to the noises. Okay. So don't be worried about the steering wheel. Watch when we're going straight. You ready? Yeah. Would you drive this car on mountain roads? <laughs> okay, I'm slightly worried now. It's all good. The sun's out. Everything's going to be fine when the sun's out. As long as the brakes don't fail. At least it's a manual. Here's a look inside our lovely 70 euros a day car. So there's the gearbox. It's got the special removable panel to keep it nice and cool look. Yeah, that's right. That's a good panel. design feature that. Yeah. Gearboxes, especially this one, I think could get quite warm with all these mountain roads. That's right. And then we've got the beep that does not stop. Uh, th this, this is to make sure that on these mountain roads, don't fall to sleep. Yeah, you're always aware. Or that you're relaxed. Yeah. Because you don't want to relax on these roads, very dangerous indeed. And over there is a whole mountain that could erupt at any moment, and you don't want to be asleep at that moment either. So the beeping, excellent design picture. 
Okay, so this is attempt number one, it's stopping the beeping. I think it's an airbag warning light. But what I'm going to do as a sacrifice, I'm not going to wear a seatbelt. On the oh, basis, that makes me feel so much better. It gets, we're not going to be going fast enough for it to become uh, a problem. And it's back on again. I think I've cracked the beeping. Are you ready? This is the test. Hill start. This is be a, this would be a tough hill start on your driving test, wouldn't it? Perfect. Perfect clutch control. No! Oh, oh hold on, hold on. I haven't got my seatbelt. Your seatbelt's on. The camera bag seatbelt is on, which I think was the problem. The camera bag was heavy enough. Oh. Mm. Okay, right, we'll have the romantic table. It's a romantic table. table. Romantic table. <laughs> Next to the cactus and the palm tree. Uh, all I need now is a beautiful woman to join me. Do you know any? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay, Paul. 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 Grazie. Grazie mille. See you later. See you later. Bye bye. For ya, monkey. We are now going to drive around the whole island. This could be a long so video. Just so now we're going to drive up to the north of the island, sort of backpedal on ourselves and head up. And there's little outcrops that you go up to each of the little towns. And it's sort of, it's really interesting. It's a circular drive and then we have to come back round again. I did find some little kind of mountain roads. Oh, lovely. That go right up to the top of the mountain, but I'm sure the track's not roads. Yeah, well, we'll try them. We'll give them a go. To this Selena is part of the Aeolian Islands, which consist of seven volcanic islands Alicudi, Filicudi, Volcano, Lapari, Panarea, Stromboli. And what makes this archipelago so unique is that each of these islands here have a different look, feel, and distinct characteristics that set them apart. Selina is the largest of the islands at roughly 26, 27 square kilometres of surface or 10 miles and in 2019 Selina was awarded the title of most beautiful island in Italy by CNN. The ancients called Selina Didymi, a name derived from the Greek word for twins in reference to the two volcanic peaks that divide the island into two mountainous halves. It's not just the beaches that attract tourists throughout the year, but also a vast cultural heritage, rich history and lush natural vistas and sights. It's the greenest of all the islands in the archipelago. The lush vegetation of Selina is not just a treat for the eyes, however. Here you'll find full olive trees and sprawling vineyards that produce some of the finest and most famous Italian wines, like Malvasia, an intense raisiny dessert wine made from the grapes that allowed out in the sun to dry for a couple of weeks before pressing. The vines once covered much of the island until the dis uh, devastating blight arrived in the end of the 19th century. The island's rural economy imploded at that time, leading to many locals immigrating, some of them to Australia actually. And actually it was an immigrant to Selena, a northern Italian artist and designer, Carlo Horner, who revived Malvasia wine production in the 1970s. Selina has three main centres, Malfa, Leni and Santa Maria. The entire island is connected through an intricate road system twisting along its mountain slopes that cross flows of lava with striking patterns. The best way to visit the island is to rent a car or a scooter, hopefully a better car than we got. <laughs> And if you're not on a boat, there are regular ferries coming across from Sicily and the mainland every day. Believe it or not, we've got the jalopy here, the ragtop, all the way to the top of the hill. Well, I say to the top of the hill, behind me you can see we're not at the top, but we're certainly not at the bottom. There's some lookout post. This is near Polara, is it called Polara? Yeah, Polara. So we're going to have a little look around to see what's about. There is a sign saying don't lean on the fences and keep small children close by. I suggest it's quite precarious, but if you look out there, you can see it is flat, calm Mediterranean with a whisper of a breeze in various places. Oh yeah, look, here we go. So this looks out toward Filicudi and Alicudi. 
Quite a view. Four island view, five island view. Over in the background there is Sicily, Alicudi, Filicudi, Nicoli, yeah. and over here Panorea and Stromboli. And this is Selina. This must be Palara down here. With a few boats anchored. Ah, oh, it's a nice anchorage, the car look. Perhaps we can go and anchor here this evening. Yeah, it's a pretty anchorage. Look at that. One or two boats down there. This is the windy road that we need to go down now to go and visit this town. This is the north, the middle north of uh, the island of Salina. Nice anchorage. As you saw at the top of the hill, we've just driven down. Beautiful volcanic island. Wow, this is quite spectacular. This is a there are so many amazing anchorages around these islands. I've not seen this one before. I think we'll pop around here later. Molto bene. I was about to say that this is one of the best anchorages ever, but we end up saying that to every anchorage we go to. It's pretty very pretty there. It is. It's quite popular. Very pretty. I've always said that sailing's about improvising. And it's very hot today. And I'm an improvising sailor. This car has thought of everything. It's got air conditioning, but we don't use that. Mainly because it doesn't really condition the air at all. It blows out quite hot, in fact. But it's got this inbuilt sun visor that keeps my head nice and cool. Look, it allows my head to spin through 180 degrees, no problem at all. Very clever. Guys at Peugeot, well done. How's this for lunch with a view? Mm. It's beautiful. Uh, what is it? Mozzarella tuna. This is um, caprese con tono. Caprese salad with tuna. Perfect. Mm. These things here. Or a chickpea flour fried piece of bready stuff. And I think we have some nice toast. And yours is about to arrive. That's the. After. With. Um, I've forgotten what, but it looked good on the menu. But look at the view. It's wonderful to get off the boat and go exploring, which is kind of the point of all of this. I'm always so grateful to return to the peace, tranquility, privacy and coolness of the boat. It's just so different to being on land. Having paid the marina, we left and sailed around the island to Palara, the beautiful anchorage we'd seen from the lookout. It was even more beautiful from the water. Join us in our next episode where we revisit Stromboli a year after we witnessed one of the largest eruptions in recent history. Our footage actually went viral and made it to news outlets all over the world. And we were saved from certain disaster by our son's incessant moaning for food. You'll just have to watch the next episode to find out more. Thank you. Thank you.